Today we're pitting Carl against Jack. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. In our time on this show, we've tried more than our fair share of fast food. I'd say more than enough for a lifetime. A couple of lifetimes. In fact, our lifetimes are likely shorter because of it. I'm sure they are. Yeah, yeah, but it's been totally worth it, yeah. and we power on for you in the name of discovery. Yes. The important scientific discovery of which stuff tastes best. Yeah, that's right, and today we're facing off with two fast food restaurants that have previously ranked pretty low on our list uh, in our milkshake taste test and also our onion rings taste test. So we're calling this kind of a bottom of the barrel battle, if you will, of Carl's Jr. versus Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. Now in preparation for this episode, our team did a little digging and found some very interesting trash talk. Mm -hmm. So back uh, a couple years ago, Kim K, that's short for a Kardashian, uh -huh. uh, she said, hey Jack in the Box, I have a serious complaint, but I won't fully put you on blast. Oh. Check your corporate email inbox or send me a DM with direct person for my team to contact Pronto! Interestingly, Jack in the Box did not respond, but Carl Jr. said, oh, opportunity is a knocking, and said, Psalm 520, thou shalt not go to Jack in the Box. That ain't, that ain't Psalm. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it isn't, but hey, I didn't know that Carl would play that little Chick-fil-A game. I didn't know, that, I know, I didn't know getting, they got into the Bible verses. Getting I biblical know, with okay, that trash right. talk. Psalm 5, uh, doesn't go to twenty verses because yes, I right. have the, I have the whole thing memorized. Right, of course you do. Um, you want to do this? It's time for Food Feuds: Carl's Jr. versus Jack in the Box. We're gonna taste and compare similar items found at both of these fast food restaurants, but I guess not the milkshakes or onion rings. It could get weird if, so, if we have. Uh, we're going, to, we're going to rank them head to head and see which one is the best. Yeah, and whichever restaurant scores highest in the end will be dubbed the Bell of the Burger Ball, and you know what? They're going to win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. Just a chance. Just a chance. Okay, so we did a previous food feud uh, of only breakfast foods with Burger King versus Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box lost. But we didn't taste this sandwich, so we're hoping that it's better than what we had before. Let's Good. see the first one. Okay. Hey guys. Hey, Patty! Patty! How's it going? I haven't what? seen you since the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's but... okay. I've been busy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, this is Carl's Junior's. 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 Yes, uh, Junior's grilled cheese is. breakfast sandwich. It's got eggs. It's got American and Swiss cheese on sourdough bread for six forty nine. dollars By the way, I'm pregnant. I know. <laughs> May I? I, 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 did, I didn't right want to say ahead. anything. I didn't want to say anything. You never say it until they can You can knock it. on it if you want. That is oh, oh, yeah. hard. <laughs> Real taut. <laughs> Not a lot of give there. Yeah, it's Dirks, by the way. Um, and oh, hey, Dirks! He's really excited about it. So, oh. yeah. Thanks. Is this what's keeping you guys together? Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> My beautiful hollow baby. Hey, uh, so I'm sorry. I'm really excited hey, about being a dad. Yeah, daddy, Daddy Dirks. Are. I've been reading a lot of the uh, baby books. Did you know that a uh, baby's first poop? is called meconium. Meconium. That's right, and it's a digested amniotic fluid? Yeah, they make batteries out of it. Do they? Yeah. Oh, mm. okay. It's also pitch black, which is cool. <laughs> it's pretty metal, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. Anyways, food. So this is Jack in the Box's grilled Swiss sourdough sandwich for $5.19. It's got ham, bacon, cheese, Swiss cheese. Yeah, all this stuff. Yeah. It's delicious. You'll love it. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to read more books. They're back. Man. And you know what? It's hard to hate on a pregnant woman. Yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah. They're only going to get love in the comments yeah, that's now. That's right. I'm sure. Yep. Here we uh, go. That looks better than this. This is looks hard. homemade. Homemade. Why is the top so hard? It's like, it's like Patty's belly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was he saying that if you don't deliver the baby, he the the baby will eat the mama from the inside? Um. <laughs> kind of sad. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. But it's it's it, not bad in like a I'm at summer camp and it, somebody's it, dad made sandwiches. It's really homemade feeling. It's like it's like thrown together. Both of your faces were saying no the whole time. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trust your body language, Red. Because, because this one, well, well, it, I'll be. It, it does look better. I mean, there's 
There's more this, going on and it's better toasted. This one just has bacon and this one has the ham and the bacon. Ham and the bacon. And then when you get to the the egg, they're both freshly cracked, I think. Mm. This is better though. It also has a homemade style. Like it's not, it's not all melted together in mm -hmm. like a McGriddle type way. Which is our gold standard. I mean, this is thing, it's also not great, but it's better. I'm giving that a four. I was thinking the same thing. I'm also giving that a four. And then over here, I'm gonna give this a nice, easy five. Yeah, I'm gonna go with an easy five as well. I, I'm, I'm flirted with a six, but going with the easy five. Hey, it's burger time, boys. Yeah, <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> Great to see you too. Um, so this is our double jack uh, with two beef patties. Are you and okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I have this thing called Kuvad syndrome. It's where you mirror the pregnancy of your partner, and so you you mirror their symptoms. I can't stop crying. So he's post postpartum <laughs> depression. Prepartum. She, she hasn't had the baby. Yet. Oh yeah. It's yeah, during yeah. partum. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay. it's five fifty nine, and it's delicious. During hey. partum. Hey, babe, look. Oh, that's badass. <laughs> wow, oh. look at that. Wow. It's like a server in training. Whoa, oh. don't hold, hold on now. <laughs> All right. I got a little underbelly there. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't keep it together, you know. <laughs> Uh, this is the big Carl. He's got two all beef patties, American cheese, oh. lettuce, uh, classic sauce on a seeded bun, which uh, is technically what I have right now. <laughs> oh, so, seeded. Oh, yeah, and it's 839. I get it. I get it. <laughs> seeded. Seeded. So this is a, it's, a, it's a double. It's a double big burger. Big Carl. So it, was it Carl first or was it Hardy first? Because okay. now where I'm from, it's Hardy's. All right, Link, I know the story here. And this is actually pretty fascinating. Carl Jr. was started when Carl Karcher. Uh, took $15 from a savings account and borrowed $311 to purchase a single hot dog car in LA in 1941. Now, the Junior in Carl's Junior does not refer to anyone named uh, Carl Junior. It was actually when he first started his restaurants, he had full service sit down restaurants, but then he opened too many restaurants and he called those Juniors because they were smaller and they had quicker service. Okay. However, Carl Karcher and his wife did have a son named Carl, but they did not name him Carl Junior. After all that? They called him Carl Leo Karcher, and he was found guilty of insider trading for selling off Carl Jr. stock <laughs> shortly before it plummeted. What a story, huh? <laughs> if they would have named him Carl Jr., would he not have done that? I think he was bitter. Now, so this, this is like a Big Mac, right? It's, it, it's supposed to be like their answer to the Big Mac? Yeah, get, eat, bite them, bite it, <laughs> taste it. Give us, you give said us, bite them. Get you it. mean like each each patty? I like this. It's got a nice Thousand Island dressing. It is their Big Mac. Um, that's why they call it Big Carl. Yeah, They're flame, not saving too broiled. much. Get that off your face. It I has want, a flame broiled. I didn't want to pick it, I just want, it was a sesame. Quality to it. Yeah, it's like a big king, I would say. I do like it. I don't want to rate it until I've tasted this one though. Good gosh. What is that? It's way saucier. What is over here on this this part of the world? Okay, get so get rid of some of that. Now this one's got mustard. I like that better. Why do you like it better? Because I, like, I don't. The burger tastes better to me. It's not flame broiled. <laughs> yeah, but I actually like it because it tastes a little bit more like a diner burger to me. Okay, well, so we're going opposite directions. And I like one. the I just like the the sauce. I mean, I just got Thousand Island, but. Not a lot. It really comes together as a unit, and I like that about it. I'm gonna give the Big Carl a nice, even seven. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna give this a six. So I'm not. It's not like wildly better. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give it a five. It's right down the middle. Okay. I'm you know. Another bite. Chicken time. Chicken round. Yeah. Hey there. Uh, hey. This is Carl's hand breaded chicken tenders. They're dipped in buttermilk, hand breaded, golden brown. You got it. Comes with your choice of dipping sauce. Wow, look at that. All, all of them. And they're Heinz. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Dave, how you oh, doing? You, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you forgot the dipping sauce. Uh, I had to drive all the way here on my lunch break. Thank you, Polly. That's well, great. well, well. If it isn't Dirk's work wife, Polly. <laughs> Patty. You look well. 
Yeah. Get over here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. You made yeah. up. Yeah. You remember, Polly, she stormed oh. into our wedding. Yeah. I do, yeah. It, it wasn't was awkward love to my husband on our wedding yeah. day. Yeah, it was <laughs> a great. Yeah, we worked it out. And were you involved in this? Uh, well, actually, uh, he promised to make me the baby's fairy goth mother. What? We oh. made up, so Wait, I what? Okay. Yeah, I forgot fairy to mention godmother? that. Goth uh, mother. I didn't mean to. Mother. I didn't mean to oh, mess things goth. up. We're I'll talking just open this. Oh. oh, so they got Frank's red hot sauce. Oh, well, that that, that got awkward. I thought everything was okay for a second. Yeah, there's a lot of drama going on. Yeah, tell me about it. These are the crispy chicken strips. They are six uh, thirty nine, and they're delicious. <laughs> You'll love what them. you're looking at, Dirk. Are they, are they hand? Are they hand breaded, or just uh, are just written on your hand? Link, I uh, I didn't finish answering your question. Which uh, came first, Hardy's or Carl? Carl's Jr. or Carl started the first Carl's Jr. in 1941, and then Hardy's was started in 1960. But then Carl's 41. Jr. bought Hardy's in 1997. I've always been a fan of their chicken strips. This is a freaking good chicken strip. And they were, right out of the gate, they basically did these right, you know, back when everybody was just nugging it up. I re yeah, I grew up with Hardee's, and I remember when the star came in. I didn't know why, but I guess that was 97. Woo, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that's over a good chicken strip, man. Over here, these, there's no way this can be as good. I'm gonna dip it in the same type of sauce, but they're honey mustard sauce. It is a piece of chicken, though, it, it's not. It, it's not even yellow. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. What color is that? Well, I'm just gonna go straight. Hmm. It's got that mass-produced sort of. This is nothing to more tickle. nothing to brag about. More typical. More tickle. I'm going back to this because it's so good. I mean, this doesn't belong in a fast food restaurant. Where do you want it? In a sit-down establishment. Okay. I gotta go in and sit down at Carl's to eat this. You know. Nine. That's a good chicken strip for fast I, food. I'm debating with a 10. Once you factor in that it is Hardee's, I mean, <laughs> or Carl's Jr., you know it's. All right, you can factor in whatever you want to, man. You can sit down and eat it, uh, you can stand up. On the scale of fast food restaurants, I am gonna give this a 10. Like, Whoa. I'm not gonna hold back. Yeah, you heard it here. <laughs> Over here, this you, is. You have shocked the I've shocked, the, I've shocked the internet. I'm gonna give this a low number. <laughs> yeah, don't go too low because, you know. I wanna give it a fighting chance. I mean, shout out to the Jack in the Box egg rolls dipped in ranch. Like, I keep banging this drum. They're Bang great. It. That and the tacos, is, do we have a taco around? Mm. Those are the only things I really like at Jack in the Box. None of the stuff we're eating today. I'm gonna give them a five. I'm gonna give them a four. <laughs> and then, what? And we're not gonna apologize. Fry time. And here are Jack in the Boxes medium sized oh. seasoned curly fries for only $3.49. <laughs> yes. Man, I really hope that I figure out this whole fairy goth mother thing before the baby shower that's oh, coming up. Oh, huh? baby, baby shower. Yeah. Speaking of the baby shower, you guys should totally come because it's coming soon on mythicalsociety.com. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, mythicalsociety.com. That's, that's right, yeah. mythicalsociety.com. We know oh, about that place. Yeah, it's cool. That's where the wedding is, too. Yeah. And uh, you can still watch it. There's uh, Those are the Carl's Jr. Fry, Chris Cut Fries. Mm. They're $4.99. Chris cut. Chris yeah. cut. Chris cut fries. Chris cut. Oh, are you? Is it? Is it coming? No. no, it, just no. Make, it just kick in and. Make I just it like in. to. I just. <laughs> do you like that noise it makes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it makes. It's only a little concerning. Have you picked out a name? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, All right, it. bye. They, they haven't even thought later. about it. Another reason to join the Mythical Society <laughs> is if you want to get the. From prom to red carpet, U2's collectible featuring us and our famous prom pose. You got to join Third Degree Core Leader Annual by December 31st, mythicalsociety.com. Moving and shaking over there on the Mythical Society, something for everybody. How do you feel about a Chris Cut? These are good. I mean, that's an actual potato right there. They're, um, oh yeah, you can tell it's real. Uh, they're nice and crunchy. I like the seasoning. Um, I like the dippability of these. I like that. These, are, yeah, they they do a good job. I think they went through, if I'm not crazy, a curly fry stage. Oh yeah, but they're 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 beyond that. And you can get 
You can get curly and you can get other types of fries at Jack in the Box. Look at that curly. That's You got the one that I wanted, the tight curl. That's a tight curl. And I'm getting the loose curl. Dink uh, it. You can trade if you want. I mean, if no, no. strongly about it. I love a tightly curled curly fry. They have the same. Breading kind of thing. And uh, spicy, the spice flavors. This is a. These are both pretty solid French fries. Sh should we lay into the fact that curly fries are not actually that curly? They're just like crescents and then a bunch of straight ones. No, I don't think we should. Uh, you, it's not me. reasonable to expect that they all be curly because no. you, that never happens with curly fries. And that's the only thing I don't like about curly fries. But I, I don't want to hold it against it. Having tasted both of them back to back, similar uh, profile of flavor, mm -hmm. but Consistency and overall taste for me is better over here. I agree. I mean, that's a strong fry. I, I've i got to give it an eight. Um, good on ranch too. I was um, good on ranch? Yeah, you just put it on top you of ranch. Put, I'm, like, right. <laughs> I'm going eight as well. I was thinking about going higher, but I want to give Jack in the Box a chance. These curly fries are exactly what you would expect, so I'm not disappointed even though I've already said why I'm disappointed. I'm gonna give them a seven. I'm gonna give them a six because the more I taste them, the less I like them. Okay. Of course, we're ending with dessert. Yes. Hey there, this is Carl's Jr.'s uh, chocolate cake <laughs> topped with frosting for four nineteen. And this is Pretty. Jack's chocolate overload cake. Oh my for goodness. For two eighty nine. Patty, I made you a playlist. Oh, yeah. thanks. Oh, this is pretty. This is beautiful. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, I've seen that on, on YouTube. It's for the baby. Yeah. Oh, babe, don't you think Slipknot is a little too advanced for the age of our baby girl? It's a girl? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, I don't know if that was planned or. High five, high five. Hell Let yeah. Slip. The, the knot can slip or you can just pull it. <laughs> That's good. That's Emily laughing at that. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, have you had either one of these? Uh, no, I don't typically get dessert at fast food places. Yeah, me neither. Because I already feel like I'm doing a lot of wrong and what, right. And two wrongs don't make it right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, get, you can't get that naughty? That's good. The icing is like a cream cheese icing. They've done that right. I'd finish it, if that's what you're asking. I, I really like it. This is this is pretty, though. It's like a bunt cake kind of a thing. What did he call it? Mm. Very moist. I'm missing the cream cheese icing, but the the cake is it's so good. quality. This is, they, this is really good. Wow, Jack. I mean, they they just got like a tractor trailer full of these things. They just back up and dump them out. You know, they're not baking in either one of these places. How did they get it so moist? I know. I really like the cream cheese over here. I'm gonna give this one a seven. I'm giving it a five. Oh, I'm giving it a five. And I'm missing the cream cheese over here, but everything else is just making me forget. I'm gonna give this. A seven. I'm giving that an eight. That's how that's how strongly I feel about that. Now we've scored everything, but I if I may take a moment, you may. I, I would like to make an argument that I've never made on a food feuds before. But oh, I just buckle I mean, up, everybody. Isn't it pretty obvious? I mean, I don't know the score that Jack in the Box is is losing miserably. We talked about them losing twice before. Yeah. But there's a couple of things. Uh, you know, Jack in the Box was the first fast food restaurant to introduce a breakfast sandwich. They're innovators. Okay. It was the first fast food place to have a two-way intercom system at the drive-thru. What? Uh-huh. Okay, all right, okay. They serve breakfast all day. All day? They've been doing it since 1969. You can get that crappy sandwich all day? And I'm, I'm holding back on y'all, but Jack in the Box is also the first fast food restaurant to introduce a portable salad. Okay, I'm not clapping for that. <laughs> Way back in 1982. I, listen, I bet you I can carry I, a salad from Carl's Jr. too. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Just watch me, I walk right but, out the damn door with I it. I mean, that's true. <laughs> so I just feel like, and and they they have so many things on the menu. And also, They have big tacos, little tacos, they have We don't talk rolls. about this often, but they're significantly less expensive to and the price. Than Carl's Jr. So I we just don't feel talk like, about the price very I feel often. like we need to throw some extra points at Jack in the How many Jack points do you want to throw at them? Uh, 20. Oh, okay, this is no, where your idea like, of numbers really I don't. Is. I don't know the score. 
I'm gonna. I was thinking somewhere in like the seven range. Oh, okay. five. You can't. You want to give them five points? Five for points all for that. that. How I, many I, things I, did you mention? Uh, six. No, I think you mentioned five, and you cannot give them a point for portable salad. So give them four. All right. <laughs> We're going to give them four so extra points. So add four points for Jack in the Box, and let's get the totals. So with those four additional points added to Jack in the Box, mm -hmm. the final score is Jack in the Box 62 and Carl's Jr. 67. Oh. He still blew him out of the water, okay, man, I, even with those extra points. I got a soft spot in my heart for uh, Hardy, so I'm good with that. I'm good with that. And congratulations, Carl's Jr. And let's throw Hardy's in there as well. I mean, we've been trying to get the, you guys to do something with us forever. Uh, you are the bell of the burger ball. Come sponsor a GMM episode. Congrats, Dirk and Patty. Mythical hey. Society shower, apparently. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Jeffrey. I'm Christina. And we're from Augusta, Georgia. And we're here at Lake Ipsy in Germany where we just got married. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. Dang! I love it! Click the top link to watch us try the worst things the sport teammate this week with Danny from Sport. And to find out where the mentality is gonna land. To get our U2's collectible, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.